The fall of the New England Patriots is basically 2020 in a nutshell, so we can only hope that they can only go up from here. Mariah Janos and Evan Lazar here to talk about it. Now, it's no secret the Patriots are currently in a rebuild stage. Now, the question is, how long will this rebuild take? I think that's a difficult question to answer because it's really up to Bill Belichick, right? And how aggressively he's going to pursue talent in this offseason. The Patriots are going to have an unprecedented amount of cap space for Bill Belichick, about $50, $60 million in space, depending on where the league cap hit is uh, set for 2021 and a couple of other, you know, things, particulars, how uh, bookkeeping type of stuff to decide exactly how much the dollar amount is going to be. But they're going to be in the top five in the league in cap space. They have a you know decent amount of draft capital. They're going to have a top 15, hopefully top 10, top 12 type of draft pick as well. And there's a chance that if Bill Belichick goes and hits this offseason out of the park with the way that we know he can coach a football team, uh, they can turn this thing around so- sooner rather than later. But there's also a chance that if they go at it with a more methodical pace and they don't attack the quarterback position and they don't add weapons around the quarterback, then maybe this is going to be a more strung out rebuild. Uh, I think what we did find out last night or on Monday night against the Buffalo Bills is that the Bill, this Bills team is primed to win right now to go into a Super Bowl run in a Super Bowl window. So maybe the Patriots are really entertaining more of a two to three year rebuild. Uh, once Buffalo has to pay some of their guys, pay Josh Allen, maybe some of their guys get poached by other teams. We know how this works. So I think the Patriots have much more of an uphill battle in the division, not necessarily acquiring talent because they got plenty of assets to do that. It's really just about getting over Buffalo, getting over Miami and getting back on the right track because those two teams are only going upwards right now. Yeah. And we've, we've seen this said rebuild kind of starting before this season even began. This offense has needed some pretty big weapons for a while, hasn't really gotten them. Um, Obviously with Gronk leaving, that opened up a spot. Antonio Brown not panning out. Um, But I feel like this year out of any has really screamed how badly the Patriots need help, how badly they need to add uh, a better offense a better receiving core so hopefully um this has woken bill belichick up because he hasn't lost like this in a while um so hopefully he'll get a reality check from this season and he'll he'll actually make those moves instead of uh dancing around that patriots press pass is brought to you by the legends brand visit the legendsbrand.com slash horford and use the promo code horford 20 to get 20 percent off your next purchase that's the legendsbrand.com slash horford and use the promo code horford 20 in all caps now you've talked about how this rebuild length is really up to Bill Belichick, but who do you think is the center of the rebuild? Is it the quarterback position? Is it the rece- the receiving core? Is it the coaches or is it just the offense as a whole? I'm kind of leaving defense out because I think they need little pieces here and there, but I feel like this is more of an offensive rebuild. Yeah, I mean, I think they definitely need help in the front seven defensively. Their their defensive line in particular, I know we talk a lot about the linebacking core, and, mm-hmm. and there is something to be said about that. But when I watch this defensive line play for the Patriots, week in and week out, they're either getting gashed against the run or they're not getting to the passer or just something is not right with this group. Now, obviously, they didn't have Lawrence Guy on Monday night and they were missing some players there. But for the most part, it's, it's one or the other, right? They either can't touch the quarterback or they can't mm-hmm. stop the run and that usually is a spells disaster for your defensive line so I I don't want to sleep on those needs either but when you really look at it I I think that you look at the offense as a whole and I I keep on I know Patriots fans get annoyed by us comparing you know things to the Bills like oh we're going to take pointers from the Bills now they haven't won anything (laughs) <laughs> right. But when you look at what the Bills were able to do with Josh Allen, it, a lot of the reason why he is succeeding is because they traded for Stephon Diggs, because they signed Cole Beasley, because mm-hmm. they, uh, you know, were able to beef up their offensive line and, and because they were able to draft some guys like Zach Moss and Dawson Knox and just some complimentary pieces to those main guys. That's why this has worked out so well in Buffalo is because Josh Allen is not playing in an offense where Jacoby Myers and Demir Bird and Nikhil Harry are his 
top three pass catchers. He's playing in an offense with probably the best receiver in football right now, statistically, besides maybe Devontae Adams and Stephon Diggs. Maybe let's call him the best receiver in the AFC because Devontae Adams is really darn good too. So let's call him the best receiver in the AFC. That is why Josh Allen is succeeding along with his own hard work and his own de- you know dedication to his craft and everything that he has put into it. It's also because they have put him in this position where he is in a quarterback dreamland where he's in a great scheme with great receivers good protection and that is what the Patriots need to do for the next QB so before we get you know let's not put the cart before the horse you know it's great if they can draft a quarterback in the first round this year if they can get that guy that they feel is the guy moving forward that is always easy to then flip the switch and you become instantly you know, a team that's in a much better spot, obviously, for the future. But, you know, you look at, like, Andrew Luck's cult, for example. You go quickly from, you know, ten, you know a 2-14 and 14 team or a 6-10 and 10 team, in the Patriots' case, to an 11-5 and five team real fast if you get that quarterback. But are you truly going to compete and contend for Super Bowls when, when the roster around the QB has a lot of holes? So the Patriots need to build up the roster around the quarterback first, then place the quarterback in the middle of it and hope that it all kind of blossoms from there yeah I completely agree with you 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 have to make a quarterback also want to play here want to come and be in a position where they know that they're going to succeed not be set up for failure so we'll see what moves if any will be made for all of our Patriots coverage head to clnsmedia.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel over at Patriots Press Pass